Hello everyone, it's Spawnpoint and welcome back to another video. So if you're like me, buying tools isn't that exciting. They're just practical items that you need to keep around the house to do the odd job. And the ones that you do own, typically speaking, they all look the same. They're bulky, they're heavy, and they don't necessarily look all that nice. And let's be honest, it's hard to get excited about a screwdriver, but this is probably one of the most aesthetic and forward-thinking screwdrivers that I've ever seen. Well, recently I received the new crowd-funded electric screwdriver from Fantic. It's called the NEX L1 Pro, and this thing is really, really nice. It's the sort of tool that you'd keep in your desk drawer to use around the house to complete those odd DIY jobs. Inside the packaging, it comes with a hard case to store everything in, and inside that case is the screwdriver, drill bits, two inch extensions, and a USB cable. That's it, it's pretty minimal, and the box is quite small too. And as I mentioned, this is the perfect size for keeping in a drawer in your desk or in your kitchen, so there's no need to store it in your garage or your shed. But before I talk about what the screwdriver is capable of, let me jump in and show you how nice it looks. And this is what kind of sets it apart from anything else I've owned or used before. So it's got a nice matte black design to it, although it's officially called Moon Grey, which is plastic, but it has a rubbery grip on the handle too, so it's really nice to hold. And you can see that the branding on it is really subtle too on the side. And there's also an orange colouring on the trigger, so it's a nice pop of colour against the black body colour. So the design resembles a boomerang, which they say is ergonomic, and it's designed to provide a fatigue-free experience. And I'll be honest, I've only used it for a short time, literally a couple of hours, but it's really easy to use, and I've had no issues with it so far. Looking at the screwdriver itself, it's pretty small and incredibly light. So I've put the dimensions on the screen now, along with the weight, and it easily fits in the palm of one hand, so it's very comfortable and easy to use. And this is how it looks compared to my electric drill, which isn't actually that big, but it looks massive compared to this new electric screwdriver. And just for the sake of it, I'm also comparing it to my iPhone 11 Pro Max. It's actually not far off the same size. So if Apple made screwdrivers... So what I really like about this screwdriver is the digital display on the top. So it has three purposes, other than making it so much easier to know what you're actually doing. So first up, the battery indicator. So at a glance, you can see whether the battery is at 25, 50, 75, or 100% battery. Now, this is a nice visual indicator. It removes the guessing or waiting until it dies halfway through a task. Next, the large number that you can see here. This is the torque speed that you're using. And this goes from one to six. And at the press of a button, you can flick between them. So this is so much better than using a dial on the front or the back to change the torque speed. And it means you can control how much power you want to use anywhere between 0.5 newton meters to six newton meters. Now between you and I, that doesn't mean a great deal. It just means how much speed and how much power you need to use on that screw. These different speeds will depend on what scenario that you're using it in. So for example, setting one, you might want to use it for taking screws out of your laptop, three for putting a shelf together, and number six would be used for drilling screws into wood or general hardwood DIY assembly. And finally, this is pretty cool. So it displays the direction of the screwdriver. Typically, you would twist or you would press a physical button or lever to change the direction forwards and backwards. But here, you just tap the button on the top and it will swap between forwards and backwards digitally. Such a simple yet forward thinking design. A great use of a visual indicator. So this could be one of the most impressive parts of this screwdriver for me, and that's the shark chuck. Now I'm used to using either a magnetic drill bit, which don't always stay in place when you need it to, or having to use a key to lock and unlock the bit, which often means keeping it nearby. But check this out. So to install a new bit, you just push it in and it clicks into place. That's pretty simple. And once in, it won't go anywhere. You can pull it as much as you wish, but it's not coming out at all. To release it though, all you need to do is pull the sleeve out. And as it does this, it unlocks and it pushes the bit out. Again, this is such a nice design and really easy to use. This is actually patented, which I'm not surprised about. Using the screwdriver is really easy. It feels effortless and the trigger has a stepless speed change. So what that means is you can control how fast or slow and how much power you wish to use just by gently pulling the trigger. It also has an electronic brake. And what that means is as soon as you let off the trigger, it will immediately stop. So you're not waiting for the head to spin down to come to a complete stop. The motor itself is an ultra small, rare earth motor. Now that means that it's the most powerful motor in its size. It's 25% smaller, 30% lighter, but 30% more powerful too. Now at the front there is a torch as well, so it's got like a little LED ring torch. Not something I've ever owned on a drill before, but funny enough, something I've always wanted. It doesn't need switching on either, so as soon as you pull the trigger, it automatically lights up. 
perfect for those dark spots like under my desk for example, where I would usually have my phone torch on trying to light up the area I'm drilling or screwing. So in the box it comes with 12 alloy steel bits, much like you get with any starter kit to be honest, but what's different with this one is the drill bits actually slot into the case itself. Now I can't decide if I like this design or not, so I'm used to putting the bits into a tray or a compartment that you can remove from the case and take with you, but I guess it's one less thing to lose. The battery is more than enough for day to day tasks, it's predicted to last for around 260 screws. Now I couldn't find how long that equated to but I would guess maybe 30 to 40 minutes continuous use. They say standby will last for 12 months so as long as you've got some charge it's unlikely to go flat when not in use. It's also got fast charging capability so it will charge the screwdriver in one and a half hours which again is more than enough for most daily requirements. Now on to charging the screwdriver which is pretty awesome too. Unlike other electric screwdrivers or drills that I've got, this doesn't come with a massive heavy plug that I've got to keep somewhere in a drawer in fear of losing it. It's just got a simple Type-C, USB Type-C cable, which can be obviously plugged into any USB plug. So here, I'm not even using the USB cable that it came with, as I've always got a Type-C cable plugged in somewhere around the house. And that's it, plugged it in and it's now charging. Cost-wise, well, it's currently only available as part of a crowdfunding campaign on Indiegogo, and it varies in price depending on which version or pack that you go for. So this pack that I've got here is $80, but it does start at $40, and I think this is a great price for what you get. Now, at the time of recording this, the campaign had a target of $10,000, but it's already achieved $175,000 already. That's massive, and clearly it's a popular product that's not even launched yet. There are two versions available of this screwdriver. You've got the NEX L1, and then you've got the NEX L1 Pro, the one that I'm showing you today. They both look very, very similar. They come in various different colors, but the main difference between the two is the five versus the six torque settings. So the Pro goes up to six Newton meters, while the non-Pro, that goes up to five Newton meters. And that's pretty much it. That's the only real difference. So I went for the Pro, but I'll tell you what, I really like the non-Pro version with the full black without the orange accent. So what do I think of the screwdriver? Well, I really like it. I think it's different to what I've got already. It's one that I will just keep in my desk drawer for the odd job that I need without having to go out to the garage. And I think it ticks every box when it comes to an electric screwdriver. It looks great, it's efficient, powerful, lightweight, and it's practical. But what else do you need from one? I mean, it's competitively priced too for what you get. But what do you think? Would you buy something like this? Would you replace your current tools for aesthetically pleasing ones? I know I would, and it's kind of made me want to swap all of my tools for a similar style. Now I've put a link in the description to the webpage where it's currently for sale, so keep an eye on it if you're interested. Now just bear in mind I don't get any commission or payment for this video or for the links in the description. And that wraps up this week's video, so if you've got any questions at all or suggestions for a new video, just drop them in the comments. So as always, thank you for watching, and if this video was useful to you or you're interested in seeing more Tesla and tech videos, please don't forget to like and subscribe. You can also follow me on my other social channels, including Instagram and Twitter. Until next time.